We do have some sad news for Gamecock fans today. Nikki McCray Penson, a former assistant basketball coach with the women's basketball team, has died. She was 51 years old. Yeah, before becoming the assistant coach, McCray had a huge career of her own. She was an Olympic gold medalist. She was a professional Hall of Famer. But then in 2013, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Everybody was hopeful. Darcy, you mm -hmm. did a feature on her yeah. um, and, and she went into remission. Unfortunately, uh, she ended her battle with cancer today. Reggie, I know you had a chance to talk with her and uh, her life and legacy will live on through so many players and, and people she impacted. Yeah, she was a star at Tennessee. Uh, she'd become a head coach at Old Dominion, where mm -hmm. she one day she sang the national anthem for, for a senior night a few years back. Uh, she was a head coach at Mississippi State, had to step away. And then obviously it's a situation where she was up at Rutgers and she was in her first season as an assistant. But, you know, she, she uh, fought as hard as she could. But, you know, I, I was thinking about this today, October is Breast Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month. But really, it's, it's a 12-month a year situation and obviously that, that month though will take on a, a different meaning even more so than than what it already is uh, concerning uh, Nikki McCray Benson's uh, battle with cancer. She fought as hard as she could. Let's talk a little bit about her impact when it was here at USC and and what she meant to the recruiting class and how she stayed on as one of the key players and I say players on Staley's coaching team. Well you know Dawn brought star power mm -hmm. to the Gamecock program as, as did Nikki obviously with her career at Tennessee where she was a multi SEC player of the year Olympic gold medals as you mentioned a three-time WNBA all-star so she played at a high level she coached at a high level and obviously she, she, uh, she lived at a high level too. Um, one of the things that I love about her um, was her passion for the players and I followed her on social media for years and, and um, she stayed close with so many of the players including Asia Wilson. She was always sharing pictures of Asia on her Instagram and Asia was doing the same thing back. So she, she held on to those relationships. Funny story with Asia and Nikki. Uh, when Nikki would, in fact you could hear a few of the highlights, when she would shout instruction, she, her, her voice would go up a few octaves. I mean it was very <laughs> high, very high pitched. <laughs> And Asia one day on Twitter uh, just made note of the fact that, you know, she referred to her ears bleeding during one of the games and whatnot. So it's just one of the funny things that uh, that you pick up. And, uh, and hearing courtside, you, you you would hear it too. So you could hear and then, and then you see the tweet and it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. we know what that's about. She had a very distinct voice. And, you know, every time I got to talk to her, um, her love of basketball was contagious. She was somebody that helped um, really develop players at all ages. She participated. Wow, that's wild video right there because that's Khadijah Sessions who was just named – um, assistant coach for um, the Gamecocks and, and um, Nikki was one of her coaches as well. Um, so really it's such a family that they build. But anyway, her, her love and passion was contagious for all ages. She would help with Dawn's camps and um, help develop young players and just really share that passion of basketball. The situation where you know her her legacy is going to live on. But you got a few, obviously her family just just a tough situation. And again, you mentioned initially she had won her her, her mm -hmm. you know her battle, but it's just it's just a horrible horrible disease that you know you just never know. We're going to take a second and look back at our story. Uh, I had a chance to interview McCray back in 2014, and this is how she described her battle with breast cancer. USC's women's assistant basketball coach Nikki McCray knows how to win on the hard court. <laughs> As a gold medal Olympic athlete, she's a competitor to the core. Losing is never an option for her, not on the court and not in life. Well, I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, in November. You know, I attack, you know, cancer just like a game. You know, I'm prepared, I'm pro proactive, and, you know, I'm not going down without a fight. I discovered my lump when I was in the shower. wasn't thinking that it was going to be cancer. I, I was breastfeeding, you know, my um, nine-month-old son at the time so I was thinking it was something along those lines and and then it was confirmed two days later that it was breast cancer. Diagnosed with the most common form of the disease her doctors wasted no time putting together a game plan for survival. I did chemotherapy, um, I had surgery and I actually just finished up about a month ago um, with my radiations. I feel great. I can't even complain every day I wake up with joy in my heart um, just because I, I'm just so blessed. This is not the first time McCray has had to rebound from this disease. My mom was diagnosed with, bre with breast cancer. So um, in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, OK, it's close to home. There's a chance that you might get it. I understand uh, my disease completely and what I need to do to stay proactive. I have been a survivor from day one. I'm thankful that I've had an opportunity to go through this and to be able to share. 
so sad hearing her words from 2014, but we know that this has impacted everybody at USC, especially the basketball team, and they released a statement today on her passing, saying in part, our program, our sport, most importantly, her family lost an amazing woman, mom, wife, daughter, sister, friend, coach, and mentor today. Nikki McCray Penson was part of our foundation and made us the program that we are one personal relationship at a time. And Gamecock women's basketball head coach Don Staley com commented on McCray's pass Penson's passing today. She says in part, quote, from her days as a brash rookie in USA basketball to becoming my friend and colleague to the way she mentored young players, Nikki did everything with her whole heart. Every teammate, every coach, every player who spent time with her knew first that she cared about them as a person. And Asia Wilson, as I mentioned earlier, the two have been friends for years and McCray was one of Asia's role models and coaches. And she said today, heart hurts like crazy over this one. Such a fighter and a warrior with the sweetest, gentle soul. Coach McCray, you've helped me in many ways and you are a true gift from God. Truly, you will be missed. No more suffering, no more pain. God got a good one. Tough way to go into the weekend. It is, but her legacy will live yep. on.